What's going on everyone? Today I'm gonna to show you how to do the dumbbell floor press. So this is just such a fantastic movement. I'm not gonna waste any of your time and get right into it. So first up with setup, I like to start on the ground. What you can do is you have a few options. You can start with the dumbbells as I have them here and you can kick them up. If they're too heavy, you can start from your knees and kick them back like you would on a bench. Either option works fine, it really just depends on how heavy it is. Now that you're in that setup position, as you can see here, the first thing I'm doing right now is completely wrong. Don't do this, it's gonna put a lot of tension on your shoulder, it is not gonna feel good, and you might end up in Snap City. Instead, have this 45 degree with your elbows in a little bit, so you can press from an optimal position where you actually have the dumbbell in your hand just above your elbow, and from here you're gonna power up, finish that rep, squeezing that chest, not necessarily hitting the dumbbells together, but rather envisioning that you're pulling your elbows together as I am here on the screen. You can see the difference in the two motions. It really is quite noticeable. And this small change can really lead to some big results in your dumbbell floor press. From here, you know, really just make sure you're squeezing your abs. It's up to you if you want to have your legs straight or bent. That is totally up to preference. But that is pretty much the dumbbell floor press in a nutshell. What's up, it's your boy KG here, and before we jump into the common mistakes, I just wanted to let you know, I know a lot of people will be doing this from home, you may not have super heavy dumbbells. So on the screen here, I'm showing one of my favorite alternatives. If you are looking to get more tricep activation, if you don't have access to a full gym, and you wanna get a bit more triceps and chest, keep your elbows nice and tight, your wrists nice and straight. It's an amazing alternative, especially if you don't have crazy heavy weights. Common mistake number one, as you can see on the screen, is improper wrist positioning. Now this is one of the ones that you won't be able to see. It's not as obvious as slamming the weights or doing half reps and everything like that, but I find a lot of times people have improper wrist positioning causing way too much strain on the wrist and eventually you will get injured. This goes for the barbell press as well. Make sure to just keep a nice straight line with your wrists all the way down to your elbows for an optimal pressing position to keep everything nice and safe. And number two, once again, we're all about safety. You wanna get a great workout, but you also wanna stay safe. Too many people flare their elbows. They do this on the bench press. We got a nice 90 degree angle. Josh already talked about it. But this one is super important. You wanna make sure to keep your elbows nice and tight, right, to about a 45 degree angle. This will get more triceps, but out here keeps your shoulders in a nice, safe pressing position. And last but not least, repping it out with no control. Once again, even myself, I've been using lighter dumbbells at home, so I really try to control on the way down, two to three second negative, get a nice contraction. Too many people are just using these dumbbells and just repping it out as hard as they can and you will feel it a bit in your chest but it's not going to do as much for you once again especially if you are using lighter dumbbells at home or as just as an accessory movement as well so that's it uh, we've just fully revamped our full form guide to make sure to click the first link in the description to check that out it's over 65 pages completely free and if you do want the best coaches in the game to help you get the results you deserve through nutrition lifestyle and training hit us up second link we'll see you later peace out